On Friday, July 19th, Pikeville Medical Center hosted another Freebie Friday, now with an emphasis on infectious disease prevention. Those in attendance were able to learn about potential dangers associated with mosquitoes and ticks and other helpful advice for the summer season. Mountaintop News spoke with infectious disease physician Faisal Khan to learn more. There's a lot of uh, mosquito-borne Ill illnesses that we have to be aware of. Like uh, a lot of virus, viral diseases can be transmitted by mosquitoes, um, as well as you know tick-borne illnesses. You know, typically we didn't think that this was the uh, the high area for tick-borne diseases, but as the weather changes are happening and as generally the climate is getting warmer, the distribution of the ticks is also changing. So we do see a lot of tick-borne illnesses in these parts as well now. So it's just, just generally increasing awareness of these, um, you know, of these diseases among the community, it's important. But also from the point of view of other things, uh, the hospital engaging with the community like this and increasing awareness of all sorts of illnesses, whether they're infections or otherwise, I think it's really important. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. It's also important to be mindful of exposure to infectious diseases while traveling. Some can be contracted from the air and others by neglecting to wash your hands. These uh, nasal sanitizers, um, they're available over the counter as well in a lot of places. And these are pretty good to um, you know, use in, in your nostrils. You just sort of break them up and uh, smear them in each nostril. Before you get on a plane, this, that would be a good time to use these nasal sanitizers. And um, each time after you go to the restroom or touch anything that's more very likely to be, you know, be in contact with a lot of people, um, hand sanitizers would be the way to go. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.